can definitely keep going if you want, or if you want a break, I can stream something else. No, I'll keep going. It's just, just, I'm gonna, just thinking about your yeah. sanity. I'm, just, I'm gonna need a quick water break though in a few minutes. Yeah. Just let me know and I'll switch to I'll switch to scene two. Mm -hmm. Howdy, okay, that is straight up. Here. That is straight up John Wayne. Probably. Uh, I know this one takes a few tries, so. Well, wait. How much longer is the stream? Do we have time on a stream? It's seven fifty-six, and I usually stop at nine. Hmm. I'll save that one for next time. I'll go here next, but I'm gonna grab some water quickly. All right. All right. I'm back. <clears throat> Welcome back. Yep. All right. Let's start this one. Ring a ding I, I like ding. Let's start this thing. I like the mechanics in this level. I like the way it looks. Is that a it's chicken? a corpse. Technically, yes, it's a cooked chicken. Ah. See? Yeah. Oh. So you said this is a corpse? That pink thing I was riding, yes. Ah. Well, quite frankly, uh, that that tracks anyway, because like I've always been an anatomy buff. I used to—I don't know if I told you, Bob, but uh, when I was when I was real little, uh, one of my relatives gave me a college textbook that they weren't using anymore, and mm -hmm. um, it actually had real pictures of of cadavers inside of it, and I read that thing like like it was uh, like it was Harry Potter. That's crazy. That's nuts, dude. Hey, I hey, it, it it didn't bother me, so that's fine. It would have bothered me, but yeah, here. You're a ghost. Yep. Thank God the priest is here. Uh, the, uh, are we sure that priest isn't from the planet Karn? I don't know, actually. Okay, that's a that's a I I I realize I shouldn't have, but that was that's a Doctor Who reference. The Sisterhood of Karn is a uh, a religious order that um, that does well with Time Lord science and is even figured out how to cheat death for Time Lords, figuring out how to activate regeneration even after death. Hmm. So that's why I said maybe the priest is from Karn because, and they re they clearly regenerated Pepino here. Mm-hmm. It's the Pac-Man incident. Mm-hmm. We should try and play Lethal Company at some point, too. I need to own it first. <laughs> if Crash is still here, he can vouch. That shit's fun. I, I've i heard good things about it, especially from my friend Rai, but, uh... But, uh, I just... Oh! Well, welcome to the... Welcome to the stream, Daniel. It's, uh, good to see ya. Number 1507. Oh, crap. crap. I'm like, I'm like drawing a blank here. <laughs> it's okay. You got time. I will say, whenever you turn into a ghost, the frames drop significantly. It could just be the particles. Yeah, like I said, this game has a real problem with its particles. They really should know when to call stuff. Don't use your five dollar words on me. Five dollar word. Also, the higher your combo, the more pissed Pepino looks when he's standing. Well, he's pissed that you're running him so hard. Mm. He's like, can't yeah, like, take a break. Yeah. Don't lose your P rank for me. Oh. I can always look at the sprite sheet later. Hmm. This guy has like a, a, a crazy amount of, of sprites. Mm -hmm. I think at least over a thousand. Well, hot diggity damn. Yeah. 
Also, that uh, that that treasure was just a was just an ice cream cone that had a ghost face. <laughs> oh, there there was the move I was trying to show you earlier. I couldn't see it was so fast, but I'll take your word for it. For anyone just tuning into the stream, uh, the reason that there's a bit of choppiness is because I am streaming a stream. Bob is currently streaming to me via Discord, and I'm streaming his stream because he didn't want to use my, uh, my stream key. So, any choppiness, and sorry, it's a Xerox of a Xerox. Oh shit, no. Go back. Can't even tell what's happening right now. Why? Because I'm just going too fast? You're going so fast that the frames can't keep up, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What? Oh shit, I forgot about my, my combo. <laughs> Yeah, uh, at least the frames are back. Mm -hmm. So that's one positive. It's not much of a positive, but it's a positive. I was about to say, only three tries, there's no way I was getting it that easy. <laughs> I mean, I, I managed to get, uh, I managed to get Roma win in Frost Knight on three tries. It was three separate nights, but it was still three tries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pardon me. I, um... Sometimes that happens, I just get choked on air for no damn reason. Oh, uh, yeah. I know I'm asthmatic, but come on, right? Yeah. So since we were speaking about Time Lords earlier, you know, you know a character from a show that I I, I just bet is a Time Lord. Who? The Warden from Super Jail. I had a friend in college talk about that show. I never got around to seeing you. I mean, you get, you'll have to have a strong stomach to watch it. And it's one of those shows. There's gore in every episode. I believe one of the characters once described the the prison as being a uh, human uh, a human meat chopper or whatever the word is. Uh, uh, let me see how the how the phrase go. You lock us up to die in that human meat grinder you call a prison and you think we need pardoning? I do get okay. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, uh, like I said, strong stomach for uh, if you if you ever want to watch uh, Super Jail. But yeah, the, mm. the warden is absolutely a time lord. Because let, let me let me explain how I'm how I'm thinking about it. Time Lords are usually known for having a really strange dress sense. He's got that. He's got a purple suit and a top hat with big, big uh, yellow glasses. So, yeah. check one. Check two. Time Lords usually hide their names behind a, a name that is a title, the, such as the Doctor, the Master, the uh, Lord President. It's, yeah. So, like, um... What about President Business? I'm not sure about him because I haven't seen much of it. But anyway, uh, Do you even know what I'm, I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about—the Lego Movie. Good shit. Anyway, That's ten so, years old. So That's like, gonna be ten years old next year. Yeah. The warden. Warden is literally a title, so that's check two. We don't. We never find out the warden's real name, so for all we know, it's just the warden. Anyway, uh, and then, uh, check three, he has, he's able to morph his body into, into the most random things. Uh, it's not exactly regeneration, but he's, a he's able to do things beyond most humans, so I think human plus, at least. Mm-hmm. 
And, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, just like the Doctor, he has a little robot friend. Whereas the Doctor has K-9, uh, the Warden has Jailbot. <laughs> Jailbot. Yep. And, uh, one more thing that I'm thinking. If the Warden is a Time Lord, that means that Super Jail is his TARDIS. Because it is... It, it, it hides itself inside a volcano, but it is seemingly endless in there. So, it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Wow. So, yeah, I think the Warden from Super Jail is a Time Lord. You know, it, and we've even seen him travel in time before, but that wasn't his fault. It was, uh... It was a time trial thing. It was he was literally put on trial for something he would do in the future. Mm -hmm. Quite frankly, I would love I would love it if we found out that the warden was actually the master cuz he's just as insane. He's, he is the master if the master decided to sort of follow the law. Another character I'm fairly certain is a Time Lord is Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. Probably. She has the same interesting dress sense, uh, and the bus, which is which is alive, has literally traveled through both space and time. Hold on, I'm missing something. Ah, oh, fuck. One eye. You're missing an eye. Oh, okay. I might be able to get this on my way out, actually. Yeah, you got P-Rank now. Yep, because I found the last secret. Well, let's hope I can keep it. I will shut up now. Please, thank you. There we go. You did it! Yeah! Yep. Congratulations! P rank again! Well, aside from John Gutter, that was probably the easiest one so far. Mm-hmm. Where's Pumpkin? Is she okay? I hope so. I hope she's fine, but uh, we hadn't seen her since, uh, since like, level two. And I'll do this one next. How much, how much time do we have left? Uh, uh, 45 minutes. Okay, I'll at least get this one done. This level looks nice. Yeah, it has, it has a character from a PS1 game. Oh, do tell. You didn't see the. You didn't see the. Uh, I saw more. I saw more the chicken, but I was. I was wanting more information. That he's from a PS1 game. They got permission to add him to this game. Which PS1 game? Mort the chicken. <laughs> Probably okay. I figured it was a stupid question to ask, but like, 
I expected more info than just that. You ever played more of the chicken? No, but I've seen I've seen videos of it. It's like it looks like a subpar platformer. I should check it out. I've never I never had a PS1, so uh so it's um uh, it's beyond me anyway. Hold on. I'm just uh fun farm. Okay, just checking. Just making sure I remember. According to digital, uh, digital squirrels crash, right? Yeah. According to Crash, he says he's played it. It's a very basic bargain bin platformer. Mm-hmm. Speaking of PlayStation games, uh, my friend Roma, he uh, he got me uh, a a PlayStation Hits game for uh, for the uh, PS4 for Christmas. He got me. Um, Infamous Second Son. Hmm. What's that about? I, am, I, I, I don't really know the full context of it, but people people who have... I really can't explain it. He can explain it a lot better. I've only seen a small bit of it. Enough to know that it's cool. And apparently Wolfgator knows about it. Um, maybe... Uh, anyone out there, can you describe... Uh, Infamous second son in a way that uh, that I can explain it to Bob. Uh, Xenokami says superhumans. Alright. That's that's all I've got so far, because that's what that's all Xeno said. Yeah, uh, uh, Roma was raving about it. It's just my my stupid memory cannot remember all that he said. I just know that I saw clips from it. He showed me clips from it, and it looks really fun. And, uh, yeah, that's what he got me for Christmas. Neat. That and a Funko Pop. Okay, uh, Zeno says it's like GTA, but you get powers. That sounds pretty fun. I know one of them is definitely electric. Oh, so you can be like movie Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, but also human. Well, that's that's boring. Well, e yeah, being human is boring, but still, it, it from what from what I've seen, Bob, it's a great game. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently, Wolf Gator's favorite power in the game is Neon. Hmm. And I, whoops. <laughs> Good thing that doesn't that doesn't affect the combo. Yeah, in most games it would. Mm hmm. But this is not most I... games. Uh, Xeno says Neon can make stuff from media. Hmm. So I guess it's kind of like a, a creation ability. Hmm. Like Aelita from Code Lyoko, I suppose. Sure, I suppose too. Well, I mean, I've only seen a little bit of the game, so I... Okay, that... Xeno says... Also says infinite husbando powder power. Don't know what that means, but okay. Horn. I mean, it makes sense. It's a farm. Well, yeah. I was expecting either. I, I was. Well, all the cows. I was more, mostly expecting milk. And I did it again. Is that a bone sticking out of his arm? Yeah, but and he was it, also there was also spaghetti sauce. 
And he was also laying in Family Guy death pose. I know, it's funny. Family Guy death pose is funny to me. You know, they added it to the to to the next iteration of uh, Sam and Max remakes. Oh, did they? Yeah, when uh, uh, when Sam lands on Max in, as they're about to go into hell. <laughs> Woo! You did it again. That was probably the easiest one so far. That was also your fastest one. It's all you've, it only took you like five minutes or so. Mm-hmm. It was an easy level. Very. I think I think someone in the comments said that too. It did. Uh, Crash says first try. Oh wow. It, that's a. It's just a really easy level. Uh... Oh yeah, Rip. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends. Geo Joe 2000 and uh, uh, Luigi Fan 891!